Let's take a look at transitioning objects. So you can define rules to transition objects from one storage class to another to save on storage costs. And S3 has a waterfall model when transitioning between storage classes with S3 life cycles. They used to have a really complex um, flow chart that was really hard to read and uh, somebody came up with this better one. So it's really good. The only thing that you're gonna notice that's not on here is um, uh, S3, uh, one zone express or express one zone because at the time of this video, it's such a new storage class. There's no information about if it even works with S3 life cycles. So I don't know if, if, if it even does. I don't think it's gonna show up in the exam. So I, I, don't, I don't think you have to worry about that. But I wanna point out that it is missing here because there is no information. Um, so you can move things down. Uh, so that's what you need to remember is that if you can kind of remember the order of these things, everything can be transitioned down. Uh, you can't move things back up. Um, not to say that you can't change storage classes to go up, but you just can't do it in F the S3 lifecycle. You can't transition from the following. So any storage class to standard. So because st uh, standards at the top, you can't go back up as it's suggested there. So just remember that you cannot go back to standard in S3 lifecycle rules. Any storage class to reduce redundancy. You'll notice that it's not on there. I mentioned before that reduce redundancy uh, storage is a legacy class and basically you're not supposed to use it. So we're not gonna have it here in S3 life cycles. Um, you don't have um, the uh, the trend intelligent tiering or uh, to standard IA. So you can't go from there to there, uh, which kind of makes sense. Cause again, it's lower here, right? So you wouldn't be able to go up like that. So um, that still follows the rules of can't going up. Uh, the one zone IA to intelligent tiering or standard IA or glacier instant retrieval. So just taking a look here again, so we have one zone IA, it can't go from here to here to here, that makes sense. And then standard IA or glacier retrieval, so it can't either also go to um, uh, here as well. So, you know, for the most part, it's always just going up. In one case, apparently it can't go down. So um, that's a special case because instant retrieval is a little bit different. Um, so that kind of makes sense. But uh, we should take a look at some other restrictions on how uh, objects can, can transition because there is a few rules here and it does get kind of confusing, okay?